Securing the cloud can be a very challenging task for most of the organizations. So that's why in this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy the FortiGate firewall on an AWS cloud environment. If you're brand new to AWS cloud environment, I suggest that you take a look at the video I've recorded some time ago, as that's going to help you get started with the big stuff, such as uh, creating the account, uh, creating a VPC, creating EC2. Uh, but either way, if you want just follow along, that's no problem. That's going to be also an easy to follow guide. So the first thing we're going to do is to create a VPC. So VPC is like the data center in the cloud. So in this case, we go to create VPC. We're going to select VPC only and give it a name. In my case, it's going to be Binary Avenue. So that's my company. And the CIDR is going to be 10.0.0.0 slash 16. And we're just going to create the VPC. Next, we're going to create an internet gateway. This way, we're going to allow the resources inside the VPC to access the internet. And also, we will allow us to access the resource inside the cloud environment. So we're going to create an internet gateway. Just give it a name as IG double. And we're going to create the internet gateway. So now we're going to attach this internet gateway to the VPC and that's done. Now for the next step, we have to create the route tables and just for you have an idea of what we're trying to create here, I'm going to make this draw real quick. So we just created the VPC. So VPC is like the data center inside the cloud. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Let me do that again. That's not the best. Okay, anyway, let's just uh, leave it that way. And this is the IGW, the internet gateway that connects to internet. So now we're going to create two subnets. So one of them will be the 10.0.1.0 slash 24. And that's going to be the private subnet. So it's like the land side. And we're going to create another one that's going to be 10 0 0 0 slash 24 and that's going to act as the public facing interface on the firewall so our firewall when we deploy it is going to look like this so this is going to be the private side <laughs> and i'm saying something and i'm thinking another thing private and that's going to be the public okay so just for you have an idea of what we're trying to build here. So let me clear that. We go to subnet and we're going to create a subnet. We're going to select the VPC and it's just going to name this as 10.0.0.0 slash 24. So I'm going to copy and I'm going to place them in the same availability zone. And we're going to create this subnet. So we're going to create another one, same VPC. Now we're just going to change here to be 10.0.0.1. It's missing dot there. We're going to copy, place them on the same AZ. I'm going to add this here. Okay, so now I'm going to create. So now we're going to create two raw tables. So we go to raw tables. I'm going to create the first one. So the first one is going to be the public uh, route table. Select the VPC and just create a route table. And this route table we're going to also associate with the subnet 10.0.0.0. So go to subnet association, edit, and select 10.0.0.0. Okay, let's end this one. Uh, and we're going to add another raw table and that's going to be the private one and that's going to be private raw table and the VPC is going to be the same and we're going to add this one and this raw table we're going to associate with the other subnet the 1001 we're going to save this association and it looks like everything's okay so Another thing that I want to do is to set the private route table to be the main one instead of this created by default. 
Now first we have to promote these to be the main role table. And I'm going to press OK. Just refresh. And now I can remove this one. Just delete the role table. Now I just want to make sure that everything is OK. So the public role table. We go to routes. So here I'm going to add another uh, route. Because you can see that 10.00 slash 16. It means that it's going to route to this target local. So we want to send uh, add a default route so that it's going to be sent any traffic to the internet gateway. So we're going to edit route. I'm going to add route. Select default. And we're going to select the internet gateway we just created before. We're going to save change. And we're going to come back here in a minute. Okay, the next step is to create a security group. Security group is what allow all the nice traffic to uh, leave or enter the VPC. So let's go to security groups and we're going to create a new security group. I'm going to name this as um, management security group. It's going to copy this and paste here. You can select the VPC. Now for inbound rules, uh, we want to add only one rule, just HTTPS, because that's the way we're going to use to access the FortiGate firewall. So we're going to select HTTPS, that should have here. And the source, we can select anywhere or my IP. In my case, so I'm just going, because this is a demo, I'm just going to select anywhere. But in production environment, obviously, you have to be more care careful with this. Uh, so let's see, HT outbound, we're just going to leave this as it is, it's going to allow any traffic to leave. So we're going to create this security group. Okay, so now we can deploy the FortiGate firewall. So let's go to EC2 instance, and we're going to launch an instance. And first gave it a name, so that's going to be firewall uh, FortiGate. And I'm going to search for FortiGate. Okay, and we're going to select the first one. And we have to subscribe. And that's going to be added to the previous page. And here we just want to edit a couple of things. So first, let's see. Uh, we don't need a key pair login. Uh, this is when we want to access remotely uh, either by using SSH or RTP. So in this case, we're not going to use it. As for network settings, I want to change these to, okay, 10.0.0, that's okay. And auto IP, we want to enable this. So we want this interface to be assigned a public IP so that we can access the FortiGate. Now for security group, we're going to select the one just created, the management security group, and everything should be fine by now. Okay, so let's launch the instance, and this might take a couple of minutes or so. So it was created, but now it's being uh, initiated. Okay, while the firewall is loading, we have to add one additional interface to the firewall. By default, when it's created, is going to be added with that interface that we saw that was assigned the public IP address. We have to add another interface so that it's get uh, an IP in the private LAN or in the LAN side. So for that, we should go to network interfaces. And here is the public one. So I'm just going to edit this one. So it's going to be assigned a public IP address. So that's going to be the public IP address. And that is the IP address on the outside or on the public side of the network. Okay, so let's go back to network interfaces. I'm just going to name this as public uh, network interface. And we're going to create a new network interface. So that's going to be a private network interface. So the subnet is going to be 10.0.1. And we want to assign an IP address, so that's going to be 
25 slash 24 and the reason i'm using 5 is that by default uh aws is going to reserve a couple of addresses uh being 0 1 2 and i believe 3 and also 255 because that's the broadcast address i'm just going to select uh, five here okay and we want to associate with the security group management uh, do we have something additional no we don't so let's just create a network interface oh yeah i don't need uh the mask there so okay so that's going to be the private network interface okay this is done so now I want to uh, attach this to our firewall, okay? Okay, so now the firewall has two interfaces, one in the public and also another one in the private. So if you go back to our instance, it should be ready now. So it's still initializing. Another step that is missing is to set the firewall as the default gateway for any traffic in the private section. So we have to go back to VPC on route table. And let's see, private route table, route. And here we have to add a route. That's going to be a default. So it's going to be 000. And we're going to set the network interface to be the private one. So this way all the traffic on the private uh, section will pass through the firewall we're going to save this okay now we should go back to ec2 and probably is ready we go to instance okay and it's ready okay so we want to copy the instance id because we're going to need this to change the password actually to access the firewall I'm just going to open the address and it's going to give this warning message because this is a self-signed certificate so i'm just going to confirm that and we have to accept and so the password is going to be admin the username is going to be admin but the password is going to be the instance id so i'm just going to log in and now i have to change so, okay so after changing the password should be able to log in just disable acknowledge and okay okay and we are inside of our firewall 48 running version 729 congratulations if you did so far and we can see that we have two interfaces so this is the public one this is the private one uh we can actually change these to be dhcp assigned it's going to be assigned an ip address uh on the 10.01 yes let me refresh this okay so probably okay so now it was assigned the current ip address yes and you can see this is a 40 gate firewall we can start adding uh policies we can start uh adding the for instance creating a vpn site to site whatever you want okay so that's how you deploy the 40 gate firewall on the cloud environment aws